Anything can be real. Anything can be your reality. The only difference between what you're saying is something that you want or something that is imagined or in the unseen and something that is physical, something that's manifested in your physical reality is this one thing of you saying, I believe that this is real. I believe that this is real for me. Whatever you believe is real to you is what will be shown in your 3D reality, your mirror reflection. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary, I'm a manifestation coach. And if you resonate with this message, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and tap that bell icon. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below, as well as the link to the meditation channel. Okay, so nothing is really real, okay? I mean, your experiences are definitely real, okay? But the physical reality isn't actually real. There's nothing outside of you. That is a mirror. It is a projection. It's a reflection, okay? You're in a room of mirrors. There is nothing outside of you. Reality is happening within your consciousness. So nothing is really real as you think it is. And yet we place so much importance on the 3D physical manifested reality, right? And the circumstances as they seem to be. I heard Bashar put this in a really cool way where basically he said that the only <laughs> real difference between what you think is your physical manifested reality, what you, you know, think is real to you and the unseen, the 99.999% of what's also here, right? Everything that you can't see that also exists here, all the infinite potentials and realities, your imagination, the, the things that you imagine yourself having, your desires that don't seem to be physically manifested yet. The only difference between the 3D physical reality and this imagination, the unseen, is you saying, this is real. This thing outside of me is real and this, what I'm seeing in here, not real. How do I make it real? Because it's not. If I'm experiencing it within, I'm seeing it within, that's make-believe. Like, yeah, okay, it's a manifesting technique, but I'm pretending like it's real. No, it's real. But you must acknowledge that it's real. So that's what he was saying, is like the only difference between what's physically manifested and what's still in the vortex or in the unseen, in your imagination, is that you define the physical reality as that's real. The unseen is just as real as whatever is physically manifested right now. What I want, like what I'm imagining, that's not actually real yet. It's not a reality yet. How many times, because I know I've done it, how many times have you said or thought that about something that you're wanting to manifest. It's not a reality yet. I want to make it a reality. Instead of acknowledging it's real and believing and knowing, because it is. So it's all like the physical reality is not really real. So how is it so much different to this unseen, this imagination thing, right? It's not, that's a belief that it's different. Anything can be real, anything from all the unseen, all the infinite potentials, infinite realities, infinite versions of you, infinite possibilities, manifestations, any of that can be real and is real too. It's just as real as the 3D. So you gotta change your definition about it. You've gotta change your definition of the 3D and stop saying that that's so much more real. Out here, so much more real. What, because you can experience it with your five senses? Your five senses, I mentioned this before, are a filtering system. They filter out everything. All that 99.999%, which is also here, is filtered out. You're only, it's only showing you, it's only revealing to you what you most believe is true for you, what you most believe is real. But everything else is still here. Everything else is still just as real. So the five senses were like, oh, I can, I can see this and I can, I can, you know, experience this with my five senses. Who cares? 
You can also tap into these five senses in the unseen, in your imagination. I mean, haven't you ever done a visualization where it's almost like you can taste the food or you can smell the, the ocean air or whatever it is, like the coffee, or you can, I don't know, the suntan lotion, right? Or you can feel the, I don't know, an apple. Like you can tap into those senses in with the, like in the unseen as well. So you really have to shift how you're defining things. And when you do tune in, whether you're visualizing or you're using a different process, Whatever you're experiencing within you must acknowledge that as real. It's not delusional. It's delusional to think you don't have it when it's here. Everything's here, occurring simultaneously at once. You use your multidimensional power called imagination, or you know, even if you're not visually seeing it, you're feeling it, still that's imagination. You use your superpower to tap into these other potentials and realities that exist here as well. It's all real. What do you want to be your truth? What do you want to be your reality? Because anything that's in your 3D, the 3D is like about this much of what's actually here. Like I said, it's such a small percentage. And yet you're like this little thing, this bit, that's real. All of this infinite stuff, not real, right? When you really like think about the science of it, it's so illogical. And you can't like this, this was a message in a meditation like you have to, like if you're saying something or if you're thinking it, whatever, you gotta say to mean it. It can't just be like the words themselves. Like it can't just be like, yes, I'm saying this is real, but really you believe it's, it's not real, it's not happening. And you believe in the current circumstances. You gotta say to mean it or think it and mean it. Decide to know that that is real and really choose that for yourself. You're the I am. And like I said, the 3D is like this much of what's actually here and available to you right here and now of what actually exists. And you place so much importance on like <sighs> limiting yourself on thinking that's the only reality for you. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Plus that 3D reality that we're experiencing is like past shadows. It's your, it's a reflection of who you have been, who you are now being, what you are now choosing, what you're now tuning to. Don't look for the confirmations like outside of you straight away because that's the past. It's showing you the past. Let it be what it is. Be indifferent to it. Who cares? What does that matter? What does an old creation matter? Be the creator you know you really are. You are dreaming right now. This is a dream. How many times have you heard that from these these teachers and these other beings and, and energies that this is an illusion. It's an illusion that we are living right now. This is a dream and you must awaken within the dream. Realize that you're dreaming, you're lucid dreaming right now. None of this is really real. The experiences that you are having are very real and very important. But the physical reality itself is not real. It's an illusion. And all your limitations are illusions. And you knew this as a kid. We all did. What you believe is real is what is real. What you say is your truth. What you say is real is what is real for you and will show up. If you acknowledge that whatever you're experiencing within is real, it'll show up in the 3D, in the mirror reflection. Everything is already here, right? Everything that you could ever possibly want, everything is already here. Everything already exists. You're creating your reality in order to see that it already exists, in order to show yourself that it exists. But if you can realize the truth that the unseen is just as real as what you can see now, and you choose what's now true for you when you tune into it and you say, this is real, and you show up to life like you know that, then you're gonna see it. It's gonna be, it's real. Whatever you say is real is what is real. That's all that physical, the physical manifested reality is. It's what you have believed is real, is true. You're saying that's real, this is not real. Stop assuming that circumstances are facts that you can't 
change or manifest different, different facts. Instead, remember that it's an illusion. What's now true about you? Place your focus on who you now are, what is now true for you, what's now in place for you. Believe in your inner world more because that's what reality is. The actual reality is your inner world, right? Of course, we, we've had that backwards. Thinking the outer world is real, in here not real. That's why it seems so hard to manifest anything. That's because what we've been conditioned to believe since we were young. But the opposite is true. Your inner world is the reality. That's what's real. Out here is not actually real because it's a projection. Wake up in the dream. Wake up from the illusion and start living your reality, creating your reality as you really want it to be because it can be anything you want it to be. It all exists here for you to choose. Know that what you want is done. Know that it is real and let it show up for you. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope that it helped you. If it did, let me know in the comments section below um, by liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. Please make sure to share this as well to help me reach more people with this powerful message. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.